I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and then we're going to force hands in those categories. This is a great way to test your decision making and it'll also prove to you how flexible American Mahjong is because you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. One. We are going to be the dealer for the first one. And then we're going to be non-dealer and dealer again. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14 again. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a couple of jokers, pair of flowers, east and west, two, four, seven, eight in bams, eight crack, nine crack, five and six. We need to force consecutive run, two, four, six, eight in like numbers. So we have like numbers with eights. That's pretty light. We do have two, four, six, eight in here. One, two, three, four, five. Consecutive run, five, six, seven, eight. There's six. So I think what I would do is probably play consecutive run and let these little numbers go. Play five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, two, four, and one suit. I think that's, I think that is pretty risky, but maybe we could make it a little better by letting go of a, f let's let, let's keep the four because if we pass two, two, five east, that's a pretty good dis uh, pass. Little number, middle number, wind, different suits. So we're going to try for consecutive run using flowers. We have a five, six, five, six, so, and a one west, we don't need those. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's way too, that's too big of a range in mixed suits. We have five, six, eight, nine. That's the predominant suit. I think what I would do here is let those go and see if cracks come in or bams. Still focused on consecutive run. So let's, let's see here. Six, six, six. We're trying to force consecutive run here. What I was thinking is maybe we can keep like number potential and let those go. All right. Three, six. That's our first multiple in number tiles. So we're going to use the six. Here's a three. We could do three, six, nine, but that's not on the card. So we're going to let that go. So we have six, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. We have flowers, so we want to use those. Five, six, eight, nine. I think what I would do is let the nine go. Keep the six. Because we maybe could switch to like numbers. We got a six, there's three, nine, but it's not on there. 
So here we have sixes, flowers. We need to let something go. Five, six, six, seven, like numbers with sixes. Let's let the five go. We got a five. Oh, there's an eight and a white dragon. I wish it were a green dragon. We could do like numbers with sixes and dragons. All right, so we're gonna let the five go. We're building around these sixes, probably like numbers with sixes. So here, let's do one of each suit. Three, eight, now there's another multiple. We're gonna keep that because if we get a seven, we could maybe switch to an off suit Kong hand, mix suit Kongs, maybe. Let's pass these three. We got an eight dot and fours. I think what I would do here is risk passing the dragon to pass fully and see if we can get a seven back. I don't remember if there were sevens in there. I think we had a seven bam in there. So my thought at the moment is like numbers with sixes and six flowers. Let's pass three in the optional and see what we get back. These were all going around in the Charleston. We got the seven. It's not the right seven though, really. Let's see, here's five, six. Okay, now here we could do five, six, seven, eight and use this for joker bait. Although using flowers for joker bait is a bit hit or miss because with joker bait, you hold on to a pair you don't need. And then in the middle of the game, around the right before you get to the last wall, the last 40 tiles, you discard one of your pair that you don't need. Then somebody makes an exposure with a joker. With flowers, since there are eight, if one of these two players makes an exposure with a joker and one of these two players has flowers, they're gonna get to that joker before this player. So, that's why these are really not that great for joker bait. I would rather try to use it. And since we have jokers, maybe what we could even do is play six, seven dot eight bam and use those jokers for the missing seven and play consecutive run or play like numbers with flowers and use this as joker bait, which is much better. This would be much better joker bait than flowers. So I think that's probably what I would do here. We have four discards with joker bait and flowers. Now here we could Kong our sixes and Pung the flowers. We would just need more flowers or draw in the sixes and use these for the flowers. So I think what I would do here because joker bait is not really ideal with flowers, I think I would play like numbers with sixes. Like numbers with sixes. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write force one in the comment section below and let us know what you would do with these tiles. We have a joker, flower, north, south, green. One, two, five, seven, eight in cracks, singles. One, two in dots and a seven bam. All singles, actually. So we need to make consecutive run or two, four, six, eight work. We have no fours and no sixes. So I would play consecutive run. 
we have one, two, one, two, and a dragon. We actually have a hand in here, no gaps. One, two, one, two, dragon. We need to pass. Let's keep, let's break out the wins and pass one of the sevens. Let's see. I think this is going to be a bit risky no matter how you work it. We're going to try to do consecutive run here. We have a three. East, seven, eight. Let's pass those three. One, two, three. That's our predominant pattern. We don't care what suit, we're just going to gather. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's pass these three. Three, four. So now we have one, two, three, four. Two tiles to pass. We never even looked at the card or talked about the card. We just gathered. Now we have only two discards and we're going on first left. I would not stop the Charleston. I would look in the category and see how we can use most of our tiles to free up discards. So here we could maybe do the concealed hand. One, two, three with singles of twos in the middle. We could maybe do one, two, one, two dragon. No gaps there too. So probably what I would do here is we could even do one, two, three, four, but I think this is the strongest potential. So let's let the four go. We're not gonna pick a hand still. We're gonna just release a discard and keep on going. Three bam, north nine. So now we have one, two, three, one, two, three, and a three. Let's see, two, three, we have all the threes. I would think about playing a gap hand. One, two, three with threes in the, or two, three, four with threes in the middle. So it could be letting go of the ones and keeping two, three so that we can use the multiple. So we would give up one of these. Let's see, three. We could even maybe do two, three with flowers, mix suit Kongs with six flowers. We just need to give up one tile here. Let's let the one crack go and see what happens with this. Oh, you know what we could do is one, two, three mix suit Kongs with a pair of flowers. Flower, nice. So we would play that, maybe that hand with flowers. Third hand down on the left. So we need to let things go here. Let's see. One, two, three, flower. One, two, three, flower. We need to let something go. Let's see here. Two, three, two, three, dragon. This is not, this is the right dragon. We need the one for one, two, three, mixed suit. We can't keep it all. We're doing the last right. We could pass blind here. Because we have a pair of flowers, I think I would rather focus there than be distracted by that dragon and play either one, two, three, mix suit Kong with the flowers or maybe two, three, mix suit Kongs with six flowers. We're gonna keep all the threes and let these go. No keepers. Oh, we have tiles for the Charleston or for the optional cross.
no keepers. So we have three discards options. I think though, one, two, three, six discards. We would be an underdog for this one, but we have a consecutive run hand with no gaps. I would still keep these for a little while to see what happens and just let those go first. Consecutive run. If you would have done something differently here, write force two and what you would do with these tiles. We have Joker, Northeast, Pair East, 179 in dots, 2459 in cracks, 28 in bams with a pair of twos. We need to force 2468. So we're going to let the winds go. And the odds. We're going to keep all 2468. Let's break up the east and then pass one nine. Maybe. Yeah, let's just pass these three. We've got odds. Let's pass the east to a different person and then pass three nine or maybe three seven. Okay, we're looking for evens. We've got evens. There's a six and a four. We're gonna pass the north, break up the five, and then pass a seven. Uh, I think I'd like to do that a little better though, instead of passing five, seven in one suit. But if we get all evens, we're gonna be stuck with a pair. We're going to break it up. Evens. Good thing we broke that up because now we have a pair of nines and like numbers. We have evens here. Two, four, two, six, eight. Fours. We have fours. Maybe what we could do is pass four and focus on, pass four dot, focus on two suits. Break up the nine, split out the five. We got an eight and a dragon. There is a one suit dragon hand and we have tiles we can pass. Twos, two, two, five. That's a discard. I think I would let the red go. Focus on two suits. I think this can go last right. Four. We already had that. That's not really helpful. Let's pass these three and optional cross. No keepers. So we have three discards and all evens left over. We have two, four, Two, two, four. Let's see, with this pung of two, of fours, let's see, four, six, two, four, six, eight, two. Probably what I would do is play two, four, six, eight. Pung, pung, kong, kong. We have a long way to go, so I would gather. I would not pick a hand yet. I would just gather till we run out of discards. See if we can get some more sixes in here. I don't think I would focus on the concealed hand because we need singles with two, four, six. 
I think what I would probably do two, four, four, six, eight. Hmm. Two suit options. Two eight. Two eight flowers. Either way, we're going to have Joker bait big time. Two four eight with twos. We need dots. All right. I would not pick a hand. We would just gather until those are gone and then pick a hand. But it is two, four, six, eight of some kind. And if we get threes, we could switch to two, three, four. That was a tough one. If these were your tiles and you would have done something differently, write force three in what you would have done in the comment section below. American Mahjong is very flexible. If you build around the strength of the hand, regardless of which category you're going to play, you can make it work because you're going to gather tiles to support the strength of the hand. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how your results are after forcing hands. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.